everyone in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up selenium web driver in visual studio first let's open visual studio in case you have not installed visual studio i've added the download link in the description so now let's click on new project and let us select console application and let's create with the name test and click on ok in order to add selenium packages to this project all you need to do is click on tools navigate to nuget package manager and you need to click on manage nuget packages for solution now click on browse tab and search selenium now select selenium.web driver on checking this checkbox what will happen is it will install the current package to the current solution so click on install and click on ok also you need selenium.support install that as well if you're automating or testing on chrome browser and ie internet explorer all you need to do is have these chrome driver and ie driver packages installed onto your solution so in this case let's add both of them to our project So now, finally, to check whether these solutions have been added to the project, all you need to do is click on packages.config. So as you can see, these four packages are pr present. That means we have successfully installed into our current uh, solution. So let's begin writing our first Hello World program. So in the namespace section, add using openqa.selenium this contains all the defined selenium interface open qa dot selenium dot chrome this add this uh, namespace in case you're using for uh, chrome browser and uh, in case if you are using for ie explorer all you need to do is add ie here used for ie okay so now i web driver i web driver is an interface through which the user can control the browser i web driver driver equals to new chrome driver this statement will create a new instance of chrome web browser so in order to go to google.com we use the navigate dot go to url method and https slash www dot google dot com and let's click on start so this will create a chrome browser and open google.com in it so as you can see now it is going to create it's created a chrome browser instance and it is opening google.com so similarly in case you want to open the same page in internet explorer all you need to do is replace this chrome driver with internet explorer driver so this will create a new instance of uh, Internet Explorer and open Google web page. So finally, it's opened Google and in Internet Explorer. So 
Thank you for watching this video. In case you have any comments, please drop down in the comment section and I will reply them as soon as possible. Okay, fine. Thank you.